Hey, it's Nick and back again today. Third time lucky. Today we have the new release of Solid Pup. Based on Weary 5.11, so it's got their wolf packages in it. Bit of a different bit of a change here, don't you think? Different bit of a look. Bottom borrow minds of us XP, don't you think? Windows XP? I'm not sure that you really want that, but hey. And you've got a nice little eye bar or widget bar at the top here. Comes with quite a lot of programs, and I've installed a few as well just to make sure they all work. So as you can see, if I go down to the start menu. It does actually look like Windows, doesn't it? Really? It really does. Hmm. I might have to change that. So if I go to settings and themes, we're going to go with that one there. That's a bit better, thank you very much. So let's have a look when we start the menu up. We'll look here, start. That's a bit better. Here, 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 and here. Top hole. Okay, on our widget bar at the top, we have Thunar for a fun manager. What can I do for you? Let's show. Very nice, isn't it? Lovely. Then we have Rocks Filer as well. Then we have our internet. Now, I have actually installed Sea Monkey here, okay? Because it only comes with Dilo and another one to start with. And Dilo, I don't really like personally, and it's not really good for multimedia. But remember, this machine is built for older hardware. That's why it's using Wary. Now, this is the one we're using here, which is Solid Pup 5.1.1 A4 Beta. It's not a full release. It was released Sunday. Just gone. That was yesterday, I think it was. And that's new stuff. It's got Audacious in there, new NVIDIA driver, VirtualBox Pet, and Wine. Wine and grind. Yeah, works okay. See monkey better than the others. Anyway, look at our chat messenger thing here. We have a text editor. We have Osmo for our planner. Gimpy for painting. You have put paint anyway, but Gimpy is for doing your photos and anything else. I'll quickly open up for you so you can see exactly what we're doing here, here, and here. Lovely jubbly. Works super fast. We're using one core on this machine, so looks okay. Dead beefy music player. You've got a torrent there as well. I think it's transmissions. We have a look. I want to find out. Looks like it, isn't it? No, it's transmission. Ha! Oh, there we go. I accept, just in case. And then we can get rid of that. Okay, we're going to quit that. Right, we've also got the screenshot thing to take screenshots on your screeny. Control panel. Setup. Defaults. Now, if I open the defaults up, this is the only thing that took a while to get up, actually, when I was having a little play around with it. I've changed the default browser from Dialo to Seamonkey. Okay. By the way, I've also had to download every word and genie Merrick, but I'll show you that in a second, okay? I've got a terminal at the end, okay? So if I right click the desktop, I also get the menu here. So you get basic weary stuff here. Control panel, desktop switcher, etc. 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 Select your wallpaper, Windows Manager Switcher, Windows Bar Configuration, the country reserves for doing your country in the country, right? right? System. We have system status and configuration. So I'm going to quickly open HTOP so you can quickly have a look in there and see what's going down. As you can see, I've given it loads of RAM, but it's only using 33 megabytes anyway, and it's only using about between 14 and 30. Now it's gone down to 8% of my CPU, so it's not using anything at all really. So it's pretty good. Back to the menu again. Utilities. Plenty here. Pup control center again. Pup shutdown. SFS version converter is also here. Back up to our directory, copy drive partition, etc. File system, already been there before with Roxanne Thuna. Graphics, well, you've seen Gimpy. You also get GQ picture browser, screenshot browser, and View Noir image viewer as well. MPaint is also in there, as well as PC scan image scanner for your scanner. Pup snap for your camera, etc. Oh, Alex Zane's also in there. Blimey, blimey. But as you can see, I've opened up, actually, I've installed Abbey Word and Genomeric. It actually says, do you want to install Go Office or something like that? And you install the whole package. It comes in really quickly. It took about 10 seconds for me to download. I'll open Abbey Word up just so you can see what version it is. It is Abbey Word 286, so it will do the job that you want it to do, as long as you get your printer to work, that is, isn't it? Really, you think about it? Right, network. Now, usual puppy stuff. Internet. You get all usual puppy stuff here, too. Including Sea Monkey, which I've downloaded. Mm -hmm. A secure file downloader is there. Slifed for your mail and Threadget. Ooh, interesting. Right, under multimedia, you get your volume control via Elsa. Asunder to rip your CDs. Dead B for playing your music. Double F Convert, the best on the market for converting format to format. You can't get better, to be really honest with you. Pup Radio and Pup Telly. Now, I can't actually show you anything from here because I'll be breaking the law. But basically, if you want to watch one of these channels, you can put your own URLs in, by the way. You just click on it and it will play for you. Okay? I can't actually show you that. Breaking the law. Get told off, right? 
Okay, <clears throat> you also got a retro and a sound recorder as also there, and I've actually installed a Tano online TV player. So I thought I'll give this a go. It's actually missing a dependency to make it work. But in theory, by the way, you have to agree to the uh, license to this, by the way, so it's not totally free. In theory, you get all these channels to watch via your internet connection, which is bloody good. You get MTV and everything on there. And Discovery, BBC World, BBC Entertainment, Sky News is all on there. They're all on there. But it don't work. But I will go and try and find the dependencies if I'm getting to work. If it does, I'll show you it again. Super duper. Okay. <clears throat> Multimedia again, VLC is standard, so that's nice. Under fun, you get a couple of games, which is all you need, really, isn't it? System again, okay. Let's have a look here. Usual, isn't it? usual, usual puppy stuff. No need to go have a little more of a look, really. Right, add and remove packages. So basically, it's the puppy package manager, just renamed. Maybe you can change more themes as well to make it look different to what it already is, so that's pretty good. So if I go down to multimedia down here, as you can see, there's all data you can download, in players and stuff like that. Under fun, they think there should be some more games as well. Yes, a few more there, and lots of other stuff. I don't need anything more from documents, really, because I thought I needed in every word, really, don't I? Oh, sorry, I lied. Could do with subscribers, couldn't I? I? Must do that one. As you can see, these are the ones I've downloaded. The currency monkey, the gnome office, which is every word, and G numeric, and the Tano TV player. Right, do I think a solid pup? For 114 megabytes of download, it's bloody brilliant, actually. It will bring that old hardware back to life, no problem <coughs> whatsoever. And I wish it would get rid of Sneaky Girl's cough, too. Sneaky, who the next gun out? Oh, 5 out of 5. I'm going. Bye-bye.